Jasmine man here, double H half of so. Just do a little quick, uh, well, not really quick, just like previews of two big games in this area. Um, so we have, um, what do we have? We have um, <coughs> Napoli against Juventus. No, sorry, Napoli against Roma. But before that, it's Lazio against um, UU Juventus. Two big games. And again, in case you don't know, that play lead the Caesarea, but Juventus are right behind them. And Napoli are trying to do something historic. You know, they've not won the Serie since the days of Maradona. And that's my argument of why I put Maradona above Messi, because of Maradona won it with Nap Nap Napoli and the World Cup. So, look, that's just a separate bit. Um, but, again, people think I'm mad, people think I'm crazy. Look, the people want... Napoli to win. The people on the streets that won Napoli to win, that would be an amazing, incredible story. But I just believe, believe that Juventus will win. But it ain't going to be easy. They're going to be against Lazio, a very solid, solid team. Um, where I believe that Simone Inzaghi has actually improved this team from what we, we had with Pioli. You see, after this issue with, with Felipe Anderson and so forth, but still, despite them losing Lucas Bile, you've still got the quality of Immobile. Who obviously he bricked it up for Dortmund, not for Italy, but he's found a new list of life with Lazio. So Lazio are a very dangerous, dangerous tough team, and they're a team who can cause Juventus problems. So this is going to be a very difficult game from Juventus, and Juventus are going to have to be extremely disciplined and have to really be very, very focused and structured um, to try and oversee that kind of game. So I, I so in for that, I think it's going to be a very close game. Chances at, at, at both ends, but I do see Juventus making this two two one. I think Juventus, because the thing about this Juventus team is that they are businessmen. And I think for them, they are very, very focused and they're very hungry to defend their title. They want to create history. And I think it stems from the whole injustice of the Calcio Poly where they feel that they were unjustly punished. So in their minds, and now, man, we're going to ride, 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 and we'll keep riding and we'll want to try and pretty much remake history, just win every single flipping title. So I think. They're going to be very focused, and I just feel that their their defense and their midfield, and the fact that once those, because that's the difference between like a Juventus and like a Lazio, when those chances fall to Juventus, they will take 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 them. When the chances fall to Lazio, they may they may take one, but they will not take enough of them for them to to to, to defeat Juventus. And I think that Juventus, again, uh, especially with the midfield of Kedira, Matuidi, and Sofan, and especially for Alexandro, and um, what they they can bring and how they can expand the the play. I just feel there are more. They're more dangerous individuals for Juventus to ex ex exploit them. And, and we now go for Napoli and Roma. Roma crushing, crushing defeats to AC Milan, crushing the defeats. And this Roma team are not really the same Roma team that we saw in the group stages of the Champions League. So, um, and for Napoli, man, they're playing some rock star football. They're playing some sexy football. People are sleeping on Dries Mertens. People are sleeping on Dries Mertens. This guy... <laughs> Deserves to be talked about amongst the very best Ford players right now, you know, um, because this, this guy is doing his thing. And Mark Hamsik, as a captain, he's leading, he's leading these guys through. As much as Juventus want to defend their title, Napoli are like, let's get it done, let's cut it open. So against Roma, I think for Napoli, what Sarri will do, let us play our football and let's just let us, let, let's play these guys off the off the pitch. I think it's going to be an open game. Both teams like to attack. Obviously, Nine Golan has the very important role of trying to stifle that Nana play midfield and trying to maybe control the game for, for Roma. And Hamsik, in turn, will try to control the game for his boys, but also moving the ball swiftly. Because what Nana play have done and what they've done so well is the way they move the ball, the way they, they find space, the way they always move forward, and how it's very few touches on the ball and the ball is always moving. It's always, always moving. Nobody's dwelling on the ball too, too much. Sansara has really instilled a very attacking offensive entertaining easy on the eye uh, football and i think the best thing for napoli was them coming out of the europa that was the best thing that could happen to them so now they now know that we can 100 percent focus on this area because Juventus know that they, are, they have a tough game against Tottenham, but Juventus are like look was 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 still in the champions league we can still do something so they still have a bit of a nine on the champions league as well so as far as scores i said Juventus to beat lazio 2-1 and I'm looking at Napoli will 
I think I think I'll play beats raw raw one or one or I'm gonna roll with one one or now playing Roma I'm gonna roll with one one or I think Roma will somehow get up in there. I think this this could be one that I have for straight. I think Napoli will be the better team. I'm gonna roll with a, a one on between Napoli and Roma. Peace out, stay true, stay black. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.